everybody, this is Edu Joe and welcome to another video in my series on the Raspberry Pi and specifically the Retro Pi. This is now my second video that I'm making um, after I just tested it yesterday um, with my son Jonathan from the Platinum Minecart and um, yeah so in this video I just want to show you a little bit of the features of uh, Retro Pi. This is the emulation station and these are the bits of software that um, you can play different uh, games on or they call it ROMs uh, in this case so uh, as you can see uh, you got something called Amiga there so I'm just using you might hear my joystick um, over there so I'm just sort of moving it like that and then you can see I can go off these are the different types you get the main is the one that I set up um, it was a bit of a struggle um, to set it up initially uh, but once I, I managed to sort out sort of the, um, the joystick and the buttons um, it was fine. It was fine. I also soon realized um, I had some some ROMs that I that I had to put up, and then I realized although you're setting up the controls um, to work with the the interface here, and uh, for example, if I press the yellow button, I can go in and so on, and then I can sort of scroll through my the the, the games or the ROMs that I that I put up. Um, but I also realized that you have to set up. Um, well, with my current knowledge anyway, you have to set up every single one of these games um, you have to set up in the MAME which, um, uh, or you can just set up the MAME as an individual one anyway, but um, in order to set it up uh, a quick tip, um, and I went through many many YouTube videos and many websites to actually eventually get one of these um, and that is just to, uh, let me just start that when when you and also you do need you do need a at the, well at this point anyway to set it up you do need a keyboard so I just put my my keyboard over there um, and the quick way to set it up is when you launch a game for example so I'm going to launch Asteroids Deluxe and then I will be pressing the tab on my keyboard so let me just launch that so I'll just press that one you'll see it'll launch and then once the game has started let me just wait for it. Um, once the game has started, there's Asteroids. By the way, this is the first game I ever played when I was a child, was uh, Asteroids, uh, Asteroids Deluxe actually. And um, so you can see I played it three times just this morning. And um, so I'm going to press Tab. So I'm pressing Tab. And then this is where you can set up um, the general input. Uh, or you can choose, um, and again now I'm using the keyboard. So I'm going to say input for this game and I'm going to enter and then you can set up uh, your one player, two player and so on. Obviously mine only works for one player and um, I've already set up my buttons. Um, I've chosen my blue button for my start, my green button is for my credits uh, or coin because you need the coins to play it and um, this, I'm not sure what the tilt one does, I didn't set it up and then you can see my play one left right. Um, is my X and, and, and uh, the, the positive and the negative for X so I can move the spaceship left and right and so on so let me just get out of this uh, menu but it's very very once uh, I mean I didn't know this let me just return to the game but once I was able to set that up um, it was very very easy you can see there's currently zero credit so if I press the uh, the green button you can see I'm adding more and more credits as I'm sort of pressing it and um, it's going to be a struggle to play this because I'm not <laughs> I'm holding the let me just see so you can sort out this blind a bit that's slightly better and maybe if I just turn this slightly away as well so um, I hope you guys can see properly there so I'm going to now press my blue for the start and uh, you should see it says player one um, and also I'll just shoot obviously I'm not going to play properly because I can't do this with one hand obviously but um, but it's quite cool I should have another player in a second if I it'll just come up uh, oh I need to boost myself out of there and probably need to fire as well but that's quite cool that's quite a cool game um, at the moment because I only have these buttons there's no sort of get out button really so it's um, it's a uh, it's actually quite quite tricky because once you finish you actually want to get out at the moment I have to press the escape button on my over there and then you'll see if I press that um, you can continue exit 
and if I exit it there then it comes back to my main menu and then I can use this again to to go for it also there's um, I mean there's lots of games obviously Pac-Man one of the favorites uh, this one I might be able to show uh, properly let's uh, let's start that and again it's the same thing if you want to set it up uh, individually or as a as uh, well for the whole main once soon as the game starts you can press tab it takes you to your um, settings then you can do, you can decide which ones you want for example for this game I've already set it up uh, just like before um, it's already set up so I'll just get out of that and uh, I'll get out of this one return to the game I've got zero credits so I first need to give me a few uh, credits and um, then obviously what I need is to start playing and the familiar sound so I'll, I'll attempt to <laughs> Again, play. Oh, well, this one you don't really need any other buttons, but um, it's quite cool. It's quite cool. I'll probably get caught because I. Ah. Right, there we go. Up. And. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. Let me see if I can make it. I'll just ignore them for a bit because I want to grab the buttons. Or the. Whatever you call those dots. Oh. I'll grab them out actually and see if I can get that here as well, cool and that gives me 100 marks 100 points, sorry I'm so used to, wait let me get out of there, I might be able to <laughs> finish this level so uh, it's quite cool, you can hear the micro switch um, going on the um, in the background uh, obviously I'm using micro switches and I am gonna get caught very soon <laughs> so let me see if I can get over there in the corner and wait for it now I can grab hold of all of them possibly uh, maybe that one whoa whoa oh I got caught but I only got that little bit left so I might as well just finish this one of my favorite games as well Pac-Man uh, for various reasons obviously so I'll just finish that off there so you can see it actually works very well, very well. So it's very cool, very cool. And then I'll just get out of this one, um, escape, and you'll see there. I'll just go to the exit, and then I'm back in the in the main. And it's quite it's quite cool. I just press the, the yellow button, and then I'm sort of back with the main, and so on. So uh, it's all set up. I just need to make sure that I finish off the um, the front bit, um, and also the bit at the, at the top there, and so on. But otherwise, it's very cool, very cool game, um, and a very cool, a very cool setup. I haven't uh, worked on any one of these. Well, I played that one um, for this one. I've played, uh, or I got my son to just show you guys yesterday, uh, the Super Mario War. Uh, I still want to put up some more Super Mario ones, and um, I will do so in the future. So um, thank you for watching, and um, yeah, obviously this is RetroPie. Thank you for watching, and um, remember to subscribe and like. Um, and build your own one, build your own one. Um, comment if you want any any help, that if I can help you with, but there are lots of videos out there. Ooh, actually I shouldn't say that. You should come to my channel and watch this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, yeah, I mean I enjoyed making this video and making this um, arcade game for the RetroPie. And um, like I said in my previous video, in a future video I will sort out, uh, I will make it look nice and painted and, and whatever. So. Um, have a nice day, thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, bye!